What is going on, folks? Backer here. I'm very excited to announce that this will be the first episode of Wax Talk with the Backer. This podcast will be everything from all the products that have been out, products that are going to be coming out. We're going to constantly be talking about this every single week and a lot of what's going on in the overall sports card market. As well, I will start to bring on special guests and I will be bringing on people that I feel that you guys are going to be interested in watching and tuning into. I want to get right into it and I want to talk about the hottest items in the last month or so that have come out and I want to get into the prices and again we're going to you know we had this segment we were talking about this Damon and I did this for a while um, when it was on Instagram and I think now it's really good for us to do it in a podcast form and uh, I think a lot of you guys will really enjoy it so getting right into it let's talk about the hottest products that have been out in the last month basketball in general has been very slow there haven't been a lot of new releases I will say this the biggest surprise of the last few months with basketball has definitely been select hybrid basketball Panini took that item and it as of last year they first made the item back in 1920 okay but as of last year it only had blacks golds greens blues and reds for color this year they had all of that but they also added the whites and they added the the teals the teal blue uh, select hybrid on top of that they added top shelf signatures right these cards have a very limited checklist of guys like Tatum Luca Curry so in previous years select hybrid basketball had no vet autos and very limited color and now they loaded it with tons of color tons of top vet autos and the rpas this year they did a panini did a great job with the patches on the rpas uh, so select hybrid basketball came out a little over a month ago that product has been absolutely phenomenal blez has opened so much of that in a pick your color format and as well the pick your team so that's been great and that product when i made a video Boxes were 240, 250, and now boxes are at 350. And I still believe that that's kind of cheap. Um, let's get into what just came out last week. Let's talk about National Treasures football. Okay? Now, here's what's interesting Panini has had a lot of difficulties with some of the football product due to the fact that the rookie crop is fairly weak overall right you have a few guys like Purdy Ritter and Pickett uh, you got some skill position guys like Olave and Drake London and guys like that Pickens but the reality is is that in football because football card products are so quarterback driven it's very hard to have a lot of value big value in football products but Panini found a way to do very well with National Treasures football this is an item that every year for the last three years has come out at close to twenty thousand dollars a case this year it came out at twelve thousand dollars a case it's very affordable compared to past years but more importantly the cards are absolutely beautiful okay most of the top players Purdy pick it they're they're live a lot of them are on card the RPAs are nice the only issue that I have with the item and I was able to open up a lot of it I don't love some of the patches on the true RPAs and the RPAs to 25 and 10 one thing I will say that I love about National Treasures this year is there's a lot of silver and gold ink on some of these cards and they're on card so that stuff is actually really cool overall national treasures came out it's a twelve thousand dollar case and i believe that that case will be thirteen thousand dollars by when we do this podcast next week and the demand is too strong there's too many p 
people out there that are looking for this item and as much national treasures as Panini makes, it's not enough for the demand on this item. I think you're going to see a continue increase and there's a chance by football season this case could be retailing for fourteen to 15000 I really do believe that. So I, I believe we're going to head up on National Treasures. If you have a case and you're into it anywhere from like ten to eleven k, put it away. <coughs> it's 100% going to go up. I'll tell you that right now. Now, let's talk about baseball. Okay, this is very interesting. Tops last year put out Tops Chrome. This is an item for those of you that don't know. Topps Chrome was first produced in 1996 in the basketball form. This was an item. It was made for retail, okay, back then. Kobe's rookie year, this product was made for retail. Most hobby shops back in 1996 were not able to acquire Topps Chrome, okay? Almost 30 years later, Topps Chrome has turned into one of the greatest products. It's one of the greatest brands that Topps has made for almost three decades. And I'm here to say that what Topps Chrome has done this year, with what Fanatics has done with that item, hobby, jumbo, but more importantly, backers delight. I'm going to get into that right now, okay? First, I have to talk about one of the most brilliant ideas that we have seen in modern day sports cards, the MVP buyback, okay? I personally believe it was one of the smartest ideas whoever created it internally in Fanatics. Why? Because you are giving back. Think about it. Fanatics is giving back, and I've run the numbers. They, they are giving back millions of dollars back into the hobby. But here's the best part. Most of us know that Otani is a massive favorite to win MVP. Most of us know that Acuna is a massive favorite to win MVP. But here's also what people don't know, is that there's other guys in there that have an outside chance of winning. So it's not just about Acuna and Otani. Guys like Juan Soto have a chance. Very small, but they do. So when you think about it, there's other guys. The MLB season is far from over, okay? There's guys that can pop off the second half of the season and look really good. And I believe that the amount of money that Fanatics is providing back to a box of Topps Chrome Hobby, Jumbo and Delight, the increased value of the box is so big. Because now when you buy teams like the Angels, when you buy teams like the Braves, these teams, not only are you looking for the Otani color, but you're getting base cards that are $20. You're getting refractors that are $40. And then all the colors worth more. But I, in my opinion, you should keep the color. Because Otani's going to be one of the greatest baseball players, if not the greatest, when it's all said and done of all time. So think about it. But let me talk about why Topps Chrome is so good this year, okay? Quality control, phenomenal, top to bottom. The cards are super clean. The, the autographs on card, okay? You're actually getting less autos per box in hobby and jumbo than previous years. It doesn't even matter, okay? That's what's great. The cards look so beautiful and clean, okay? There's a lot of good insert sets, and it's just a great product. And again, it came out, Fanatics did everyone a favor and put the product out cheap. So they allowed all the true collectors to go out and buy Topps Chrome Hobby when it came out for $135. They let people go out and buy the Jumbos for 275 300 And here today, the Hobbies are a $200 box and the Jumbos are 400 But more importantly, when we talk about Topps Chrome this year, 
In my opinion, Fanatics made the biggest increase in any individual product, not just baseball, any sport. What they did with Breakers, Backers, Delight, they took an item, okay, and they decided to make an HTA format of it. But here's why it's so good, okay? For those of you that have not been able to open it and watch it, every case, and like I said, we we've, we've pretty much have all of it, every single case has an elite veteran autograph, one per case, that you're not seeing in Hobby or Jumbo, okay? Guys like Jeter, guys like Trout, Chipper Jones, Pedro, Ortiz. Every case will have Nolan Ryan. Every case will have one of those elite autographs. Guaranteed, okay? Guaranteed. But also, the configuration of the box is you're getting, I think, at least four refractors. You're getting multiple color per box that's not an auto and then you're getting two autos per box with one of a minimum being color okay then you're also getting the youth quake inserts and they have color of those there's reds there's oranges there's golds of the youth quakes but the amount of color and the amount of short printed autographs of color the amount of reds and then on more importantly the amount of supers that have come out out of Topps Chrome Delight is it's incredible okay it's absolutely incredible that box when I made a video it came out at the National it was a $300 box I said everyone by Thursday it was going to be $350 at the National by Saturday at the National blowout cards had it at $425 a box well we're making this video now and if you go to blowoutcards.com, if they have it, it's over $600 a box. And I said to the world that this item, people slept on it. I'm going to teach everyone that's watching this video what I'm about to say is worth so much money to everyone out there. But you're going to take advantage of it from the backer. I want you guys to understand something. At the National Every year, the David Adams, the Steel Cities, the blowouts, all of them, they all go to sleep. They're not paying attention to their website. Why? Because they're all at the National. The National is a four to five day stretch where everyone that's buying wax can make money because prices are not necessarily updated. So what I'm trying to say is in the real world, in the stock market, you know how the stock market closes on the weekend and there's no trading and there's no trading on holidays? The best thing about sports cards is it never sleeps. So when you have an event like the National, which is a holiday, everything else should be paused. All buying and selling should be paused. It's not at the National because it's so big. But the reality is you can, as we like to call it, you could snipe and you can take advantage of good deals from Blowout and David Adams to Seal City. Take advantage of it during the National because they're all there. Every one of us at the National. And that's what happened with Topps Chrome Delight. Is Blowout had it at 425 not realizing that this is a $600 box and we need to raise our price. And the fact is, there's so little out there in the world. I know, I don't believe, but I know factually, there's less than 150 cases that exist in the world today. And every damn case goes up more and more every day that goes by. There's just such a shortage of this, of this item. And I say it all the time to all our people with Blaze, is that when you take a good item, it has to go up over time. Why? Because people, the demand for the good stuff, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's what you're seeing with National Treasures Football, is there's too many buyers and there's not enough sellers and it causes the price to go up. And basically, what we're going to be talking about a lot on this telecast is basically the, the, the demand, not only the demand for products, but the pricing, whether I feel an item is too high, whether I feel an item is too low, okay? But ultimately, what Fanatics did with Topps Chrome Baseball this year, I can honestly say Hobby, 
was an A. Jumbo was an A+. Backer's Delight, one of the greatest items ever assembled by any manufacturer. Think about what I'm saying. I've been in the business for 31 years. Topps Chrome Delight, I can honestly say this, could be the top maybe one or two greatest products that have ever been made. Talking about not a new product, a product that's already made, but an improvement, it will win the award for me of the greatest improvement, single-handed skew of an item ever created, bar none. Moving forward, okay, well actually, let's talk overall, okay? I wanna talk now about the overall. The last month or so, okay, I personally believe it's a loser. Um, I don't like the item. I don't think it's bad. Again, it's cheap, not a big fan of it, but it's got a specific collector base. For those of you that don't know what Chronicles is, it's basically every product that Panini doesn't make on their own or that they make in a different sport and they put it in that set. So for example, you can get cards in gold standard in Chronicles that they make gold standard football and they don't make basketball. So Chronicles is not something that I would be buying. That's just me. Again, not say, it's not a loser. It's just not a product that, that fills my appetite. Um, but overall for basketball, there hasn't been a lot of product. But I will say for this calendar year, we go back, I want to go back to it. What Panini did with Contenders Basketball, they basically took that item and they listened to the people. They took an item that had a lot of base cards that no one cared about, and they basically said, we're going to get rid of them. And what Contenders Basketball is, is basically an HTA format of Contenders Basketball. And it's really, really, really good. Okay? I know that item's been out for a while. But other items that I feel like Panini did a great job with this year for basketball so far, Contenders is great. Crown is great. Prism cho Choice, increased print run. But again, we've hit so many nebulas that it's just such a good item. I personally love the Choice items, even though I'm more of a long pack guy. I love Choice, Optic Choice, Prism Choice. Just because it's not that hard to hit a big card. Um, Optic Hobby, again, Optic Hobby football was way better than basketball because of the downtown chase. But Optic Hobby basketball is a winner as well. But more importantly, I'm excited because around the corner, you've got Spectre basketball, Mosaic basketball, National Treasures basketball. You've got one-in-one -one basketball. You've got contenders optic basketball. And we're going to start talking about those items in weeks to come. But that is all the basketball that's coming out in the near future. Going back to baseball, the only high-end baseball product that's been released in 2023 is Tribute. And I'm going to say right now that Tribute was a loser for many, many years. People don't remember this. But five, six, seven years ago, Tribute was an item that sometimes it would go below cost. It was a loser, okay? In 2021, Tops took Tribute to a whole new level. And for the last three years, including this specific year, Tops Tribute are some of the nicest looking baseball cards on the market today. If you're looking for an item with great vet chase, then Tribute is your product. At around $500 a box, Tribute Baseball offers a wide variety of guys like Trout, Otani, Jeter, but the cards are super clean and they grade very well. Tribute at $500 a box will be going up. It will not go up to 800, it's not gonna be that big, but you will see Tribute go from 500 to 550. And again, I think by the playoffs, you will see Tribute pushing $600 a box. It's a good item, it's a short print item, they don't make a lot of it, but it's really good. It's a good item, and I highly recommend being involved with that. As far as other baseball items go, um, I, I am super excited 
because in the few weeks coming up, you've got Topps Pristine Baseball 2023, and at the end of the month, you have 2023 Cosmic Chrome Baseball. 2023 Cosmic Chrome, when you look at Cosmic Chrome, they first made it last year, Fanatics did. It was really good. It hit really well. Cosmic Chrome, loaded checklist, all on card autos, beautiful design, rookie cards, okay? Cosmic Chrome is an item that Blaze will do very well with. We're going to open up a lot of it. It's a good item for the true collector. It's another item where you want to hit big cards and you want to grade them. Cosmic Chrome is a winner. Topps Pristine, on the other hand, let me give you a history lesson on Topps Pristine. This is going to be very interesting for all of you. Topps Pristine was first made in 2003, LeBron James rookie year. They made Topps Pristine basketball, and it was the same configuration as it was in 2022 with baseball. It's a pack inside a pack inside of a pack with an encased card. Or actually, they had the encased in basketball. Actually, I don't know if they had the encased in baseball. But it was a pack inside of a pack. Oh, no, they did have the encased. It was a pack inside of a pack and it was a pack. Topps Pristine brings back my childhood, and it's one of my favorite items. I love it. Another great designed item. That's coming out right now at about $400 a box. Cosmic Chrome is $350 a box. Both of the, I believe Cosmic Chrome should be more expensive than Tribute, and we will see how the market is going to end up correcting itself over time. But overall, I have to say something about Fanatics. Ever since they acquired Tops, okay, you have seen, it's, it's not even my opinion, it's factual. Fanatics has made these products so much better. What people don't understand is, in 2022, you can't fault Fanatics for what they did with Tops Chrome. And I'm going to tell you why. What people don't realize is these products, they're making items a year out today. That's how long it takes to come out and produce these products. So Tops didn't have all their eggs in a basket. Fanatics didn't realize all this in the beginning when 2022 Tops Chrome. They had full control over 2023 and they did it to perfection. So I am so excited to see what Fanatics is going to continue to do to all of these items. Because when you look at Top Series 1, 2023, Top Series 2, okay, these items are, they're, they're, they're a lot better. They put short print cards. They're, they're having increased bounties and they're having more, they're giving more value to the collector. That is the number one thing. When I talk to guys like Michael Rubin, Mike Mahan and David Liner, Jeff Gordon, when I talk to guys, the highest up people at Fanatics and Tops, their number one thing is providing value and getting new people into the hobby. And in my opinion, they have done a phenomenal job as fast as they, as they have with doing that. And that's the biggest thing. I was very fortunate to meet with Michael Rubin at the National. And he literally was walking the floor and meeting kids. And it, it was just so fun to watch. If you look at his social media, you can tell what Michael Rubin's plans are for this hobby. They're going to be game changing. And I also mentioned it to him. The number one thing that he has over everyone in the entire world, okay, he has better access to all the top athletes in the world. What does that mean? It means that they are going to start doing things, right? They're going to be more engaging with the fans and all the collectors in the hobby. I cannot wait to see what Michael Rubin and Fanatics are going to do with the sports card market. Remember, at the end of the day, 
We all do this. It's a hobby, and we do it for the love of the true collector. So that's baseball as a whole. Um, this week is going to be a very light week. This Wednesday, you are getting 2023 Immaculate Collegiate. Okay? Immaculate Collegiate, it's $600 a box right now. It's a $3,000 case. It's a five-box case. Okay? It is an item every year that people like again. Panini doesn't make a lot of it, but it's, it's really good. Um, it's way cheaper than the immaculate hobby form, the regular, the NFL, but it's also a good item. And again, it's something that will probably go up because people love immaculate and that's just what it is. Overall, my thoughts on where the hobby is as far as how strong it is, the hobby right now is in a great place. Wax is getting tougher and tougher to get a hold of. This is one of the rare times in the hobby where all three sports, the majors, basketball, baseball, and football, are performing really, really strong. Okay? When you look at the market right now, Topps Chrome, Tribute, all these products are performing really well. All the basketball at this point, because there's been so few releases, all the basketball is getting dried up. And as far as football goes, this is the time of year where everyone's studying for fantasy football and they're getting their, they're getting, doing their homework and they're watching and you're going to start seeing Panini start releasing a lot of football items, okay? And this is the time of year where football is going to get really hot as well as baseball, and we're probably about a month and a half, two months away from basketball getting really hot, even though it, it is hot today, okay? But this is our first episode of Wax Talk with the Backer. I am very excited to be here. I think that this is a podcast that the hobby needs, and I think a lot of you are going to learn a lot. The number one thing that I want you to take from this podcast is I want you to learn. I want you to educate yourself. So many people every day ask me, Backer, how do I get into cards? What do I do? How do I participate? How do I get into breaks? All of what the world has been asking me through text, through DM, through email, all of that will be talking about live on this po podcast by the backer. And you're going to start seeing very special guests, guests live on here with me in the near future. And you're going to get some of the biggest men in the entire hobby on here as well. I want to give a special thank you to everyone that was tuning in and watching this first episode. This is Wax Talk with the backer. To everyone out there, remember the hobby is the greatest hobby. It's the greatest business. This is the greatest industry in the entire world. I want you to think about that every night before you go to bed. If you're in this business and you're watching this video, that means you're in the hobby. That means you're a part of something greater than everything else in the entire world. Thank you.